Good morning. Happy Friday to everybody. We made it to the end of the week. Hope everybody had a great week. This is Mornings with Michael for informational and educational purposes only. And without further ado, let's, um, I'm going to share my screen first. Let's take a look at the heat map. Um, NVIDIA is down um, big at the open. I think in sympathy to Broadcom, uh, which uh, they're look forward uh, after, on the earnings call um, was less than favorable. And so it sold off pretty hard. It's down approximately 6%. Uh, rest of tech is moderating. Uh, Google is down after uh, breaking out. Uh, a couple of days ago, consumer defensive is mostly down. Healthcare is up. Energy popped quite a bit. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, we got our financials are doing well. And restaurants, uh, kind of a mixed bag. Basic materials are up. And that's our look there. Let's share our screen over here as we go through the news looking at the uh, clearwater analytics earlier looks like his break breaking out yesterday uh, it provides SaaS solutions but let's get to our news shanghai eases of uh, buying mortgage rules becoming the third of china's top four cities to implement such measures. China August kicks in um, manufacturer PMI 51 versus 49.3. Japan quarter two corporate capital spending up 4.5 year over year versus 8.3% consensus. Let's get to uh, some of the unemployment numbers that came out. Non-farm um, payrolls, 187,000 versus a consensus of 100. 70,000 expected, um, and it was also more than the revised 157,000 that was, came out in July. Private payrolls came in at 179,000 versus 147,000 expected, and uh, more than the 155,000 number revised in July. 3.8% unemployment is above the 3.5 expected. Labor participation rate kicks up 0.2%. 62.8 versus 62.6 .6 in July. Um, producer manufacturer index 47.9 versus 47, but down from July's 49. New orders fell and output declined as per S&P Global. Institute for Supply Management, ISM, improved to 47.6 from 46.8, higher than the 46.4 in July, but below the 50 which is um, considered a contraction. And let's get to the rest of the news here. In consumer, Lululemon. Let's see if I can type and I can't quite type and talk at the same time, so I'll put it up here on the screen. Lululemon. Second quarter EPS came in at $2.68 versus estimate $2.54. People really love that. And look at the, all the professional buying in here. Oxford Industries, OXM. Um, second quarter EPS, $3.45 versus $3.40. It was not what people were looking for as it sold off, but we got some buyers coming back in to kind of support this. Tilly's. Quarter of two EPS loss, four cents versus estimate 20 cents. Uh, it's, it's on the lower edge, uh, it sold off, uh, tried to move up earlier and then it sold off. It's on the bottom quadrant. Uh, Love Sack, LOVE reports preliminary quarter two revenue, 154 million versus estimate 149.66. I guess people like that. Um, earnings are in a couple, few more days. Fisker, 
believe this is electric vehicle maker. Um, pretty flat. Um, Tesla, which is down today. My battery, my charger was off. So we'll fix that, make sure that we maintain power. Tesla, TSLA, announced a revamped version of Tilt's cheaper Model 3 comes with a lo longer range, but also a higher price, up uh, about 12% to around 36,000. Tesla also slashed prices on his expensive S and Model X cars, which start around um, $100,000. And um, there is a SEC is doing an investigative um, analysis of there's some news about Tesla wanting to build a glass house for Elon Musk in Texas. And um, they're checking to see if this was a mismanagement of corporate assets. So that may be why uh, Tesla is down today. Um, and let's see, in Chinese autos, Xpeng, XP EV recorded monthly deliveries of 13,690 smart EVs at a 24% increase over the prior month. Let's see if that will allow us to move on. It is working again. So um, tried to move up earlier, but then it, it sold off. Got a little bit of volume there. Increased Lee Auto delivered 34,914 vehicles in August. Take a look at um, Lee Auto 34,914 up uh, 663%. 0.8% year over year. Uh, doesn't get too much of a bounce um, from that news. And then finally, we'll look at NEO. NEO delivered 19,329 vehicles in August, representing an increase of 81% year over year. And NEO gets a tiny bit of a bounce, but it's been in a long-term downtrend here. Uh, moving on to energy, industrials, and materials, EOS Energy Enterprises, EOSE shares soar 50% after announcing that the Department of Energy loan program has issued an up to 398.6 million conditional commitment to the battery startup. Take a look at that. It did jump uh, and then it Sold off. Uh, so I guess people who have bought earlier have taken their profits. Quantix building. Quarter three EPS 96 cents versus 65 cents. Got a big jump on that one. EPS up 23%, nearly 50% um, earning surprise. Vestas Wind System said it has signed a conditional agreement for the supply of turbines to onshore project in the US with the capacity above the company's current disclosure. They don't have a ticker symbol, so I'm not sure if this is a public company yet. 23andMe, shares rise pre-market um, after it received FDA uh, clearance to report an additional 41 genetic variants in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes that increase the risk for breast, ovarian, prostate, and pancreatic cancer. Take a look at me. And not too much of a move there. On the technology, media, and telecom, as we were saying, Broadcom, quarter three adjusted EPS, $10.54 versus $10.43. But their guidance of quarter four uh, did not meet uh, what people were looking for. Bring that up. This falls about pretty close to 
And Dell, quarter two adjusted EPS at dollar seventy four versus a dollar fourteen, and is gapping up on strong volume today. Uh, look at that volume. Look at all those people buying in. Uh, up uh, went up four percent, which is a about a fifty three percent earning surprise. Elastic NV. ESTC also gapping up almost looks very similar to Dell operates as a search company that ingests and store data also huge volume their earnings are up 267 percent 124 percent earning surprise uh, the adjusted EPS was 25 cents versus estimate of 11 cents Hashi Corporation, HCP. Um, sold off a bit here. EPS loss is 10 cents versus estimate of a 15 cent loss. Mongo DB, recent IPO or ro rollout. Uh, is up strong, a lot of volume, 504% earnings increase this was a 103 percent earning surprise eps came out at 93 cents versus estimate of 46 cents um yet it just continues to grow develops and sells subscriptions to modern general purpose database platform newtonix uh, authored authorizes the repurchase of up to 350 million of its class A common stock quarter two adjusted EPS 24 cents versus estimate 16 cents earnings up 241% from this quarter last year 50% uh, earning surprise and huge volume a lot of people approving this and uh, look at it just jump up into the buy zone just pretty amazing and I think we have one more in the news here. Oh, we got two more. We got pager duty. Adjusted the uh, second quarter EPS 19 cents versus 10 cents. Uh, people are looking for a little better, even though it was a 575% uh, earnings increase with a 73% earnings surprise. Managing expectations sometimes uh, will surprise you. Sentinel One, um, this is for detection of cyber attacks. Uh, they, they're gapping up on their earnings. Quarter two EPS loss, eight cents versus estimate of 14 cents. But their revenues were 149.4 versus estimate of 141 million, and also sees a revenue 156 million versus estimate 154.2 million uh, in quarter number three. So that's our news for today. Let's take a look at what our dollar is doing. Dollar is moving up pretty strong here. I'm bouncing off of the 10 day moving average. We got some good volume yesterday as it gapped up and it sold off at the beginning and now it's moving up in strength. See what this is doing to our gold. Gold is off, but it's hanging in there pretty well. Um, remember a lot of the bricks Brazil, Russia, India, China, and Argentina, and a number of other of those are buying gold to try to support their uh, currencies as they try to move away from the dollar on buying uh, oil. So silver is down pretty strong. It's falling down to its, looks like it's a 10, 10 day moving average. Look at copper. Arrow copper is down. 
Southern Copper is actually gapping up today. Interesting. Um, and this is not the chart I wanted. Freeport MacMoran is gapping up, uh, up above the all of its moving averages. So um, copper is used a lot in EV battery production. Silver is used as well, but uh, and there is some people that fear in the next 50 years we may run out of silver production. So we'll see they're both used in EV battery production and in solar. So uh, there you have it. Let's take a look at our, our bonds. The 10 year bond yield is bouncing pretty strong. Uh, uh, I'll have to take a look uh, at our indexes here and see what effect that has on it. That's back above the 4.10% 4, 4 yield, which has been kind of the sticking point. And look at the 20 year yield, it's bouncing up strongly as well. Uh, let's take a look at a volatility index, inverse relationship to the S&P 500, continues to fall. Yeah, the S&P is down slightly on that bounce in the yield. And uh, the NASDAQ is selling off as well. Look at the equal weighted S&P 500 without those heavy issues are actually up 0.19%. And uh, IWM, where most of our regional banks are located is actually up as well this morning. And our Dow Jones. It's kind of flat, but it's in the positive territory. Look at our technology, pretty flat today. Software is actually up. Take a look at our oil prices gapping up this morning. This is why OII is moving up pretty strong. Moving out of that consolidation, definitely. Tidewater, other leading stock in this area, got huge volume yesterday. Financials, uh, almost looks like a gap up out of this area, but not too big of a move up near um, three quarters of a percent. Take a look at our energy sector, gapping up. Our producers and explorers, gapping up as well. We had um wanted to take a look at this other this is this other industry on oil. This one is really moving out today. Um Cactus is one of the leading issues in this group. Designs, manufactures, sells, rents, wellhead for pressure control equipment and extraction of oil. Let's see if I can get my crayon to work. There we go. It broke out here, pulled back a little bit, and now it's gapped up today. Biotech is pulling back. Take 
a look at the issue that we were looking at. That was it's holding up um, in this area pretty well. It's being supported by the 10 day moving average. Tried to sell off over here. People taking their profits. Uh, came back pretty strong yesterday. Sold off again this morning and then it's being supported again. Disc medicine, which is sold off, it's getting supported as 20, 20 day. These are two of the stronger issues in biotech right now. SMH. Uh, still remains pretty strong. Axelis Technologies, pretty strong here. Take a look at, um, looks like we got a breakout um, right about here on the 29th. And it's moving up. And NVIDIA, like we saw earlier on the heat map, got a little bit of a pullback. See if we get support at the 10 day or 10 and 20 day are pretty closely matched here. Um, so we'll have to keep our eye on it. Um, $500 became, uh, actually went above $505 and then we got a lot of selling that came in. Pave. Is moving up. Strickland, Sterling infrastructure is one of the strongest issues in this area. Huge amount of buying over here. Uh, huge move up here. Sell off, it was supported. As long as it stays on this gap up here, positive, and it continues to move higher. Look at our industrials compared to the Dow. It's pretty close to what the Dow is doing. Our building materials gapping up this morning, up over 1%. I guess Home Depot would be a good one. Lowe's. Another one up pretty strong here. I could actually open up this panel over here and we can take a look at what stocks are in, in this group. Here we go, diversified operations. These are the top industries in this sector. Got a lot of ETFs in this group. Uh, Pave. actually see individual stocks listed here. There's uh, a bunch of different ETFs. So we'll uh, get back on this one later. Minings and metals, gapping up as well. And finally, the housing index. Amazing um, with the yields jumping. This continues moving higher. 
actually uh, up over well over one percent. There was another housing stock uh, I had seen last night. Dream finders, actually. Here we go. This is a newer issue. Take a look at our monthly chart. Came public in 2021. Um, sold off quite a bit. And now it's trying to do a breakout from those uh, old time numbers. Got some pretty good volume over here. Look at this beating 99% of all companies on the S&P 5. Hundred relative. What we want to see is this relative strength line break out. So that's the area it needs to come above. But you can take take it right over here. This is kind of our early buy area. So here we have that. That's a look at where everything is moving. See where the big money is flowing. We looked at um, and TNX earlier, we look at MongoDB. We looked at Lulu Lemon, Internet of Things, Samara, got a big move today on its earnings, up um, nearly 12%. Earnings came at 125%, 150% of average. This is a recent IPO. like it's getting ready to break out its IPO high. This is what we call a double bottom. Once it passes the middle of the W formation, this is buy. Getting a lot of support there. Let's see what else we got uh, on our chart. This Chinese brokerage continues to get buying in it. It's broken out of this cup pattern, up a little over 6% today, huge buying numbers again. We got Okta technology continuing to move up on their 410% earnings increase. Pretty good volume again today. Another recent IPO. Goosehead Insurance, massive uh, buying over here. They had uh, big earnings, sold off, and now it's gapping up. I'm not sure if they uh, incorporated another insurance company under their umbrella. Another Chinese issue. Hindwa Dua, uh, owner of Timu, which is, they've been having a number of ads on internet I've seen. Um, it's broken out of this channel, huge volume, earnings up uh, 28%. And finally, Eddie's tried to move up sold off a little bit and let's take a look at um, a couple issues that were 
and then news yesterday. Super microcomputer, kind of in a tight range as it tries to get above uh, its 50-day moving average. We had looked at this a while back as a high tight flag. Moved up here. Here's here's a flagpole. Here's a flag. Uh, it's still well above uh, the high of the flagpole as it bears out. Looks still looks pretty positive, even though we got some pretty big volume selling after its earnings came out less than what people were hoping for. Uh, let's see. We have any other from? Let's take a look at uh, Fastly. Continues to move up after breaking out over here. Got pretty good volume. And the volume continues to be pretty positive here. Shopify, which just inked um, an agreement with Amazon, continues um, pretty strong after a huge um, buying yesterday. Amazon is a little off today. Google, which was uh, on the heat map, pulling back. Still kind of within range. And Celsius had a little bit of a pullback yesterday. Now it looks like it's gapping up today, up over 1.18%. And then um, consolidated water. It's kind of within range. Sold off quite a bit yesterday. It's up 2.5% uh, today. So that's a look at uh, where things are moving. Um, we look at one other this is a company that manufactures and distributes specialty metals, including cobalt, nickel, titanium, chromium, and iron scrap. Um, it's a little extended right now, something to maybe keep on a watch list of two hundred and seventeen percent earnings increase for next year. Kind of broke out of uh, its consolidation here and just continued to move higher. But that's our report for today. We have a great show coming up uh, tomorrow with Dr. Karen Fiorillo. Um, make sure you watch out for that on our small business leaders. He's an educator in Pennsylvania with it's amazing the amount of things that she's done in her life. Uh, just gives you great inspiration. But I uh, hope everybody ends their week well. Continue to go out there and work on your goals and your activities. If you have any financial goals you'd like to discuss, we'd love to help you meet them. And um, just have a great weekend. This has been Mornings with Michael for information and educational purposes only. Have a great day.